Okay, part two there. Sorry, you guys. I just got... Got distracted. So again, uh, I made just made a two million video that I had to delete there because I was being, yeah, misinformed. So anyways, pink. These all came out of the Cornell River. You're going to see me upload some video. I'm hoping that this has got agate inside it. Isn't it pretty nice? So we'll be sawing those apart. Everything that came out of there was super translucent. And I'm wondering about the jade. Like, I did bring some of these greens home. Like I was saying in my videos, if you watch some of the... The Quinell River runs by or past a jade claim. So I'm kind of interested about that. But uh, we never got there. We never got to Keithley Creek. What kind of plants? Maybe I'll try to do two at a time. Aren't these nice? Like some of these I might just put on my Etsy. Just like that. I will check after I'm finished this video here, honey. And I just don't want you to get in it because then I got to beep you out. I did. You guys saw me in my video. You guys saw this one. A Brecca. And the thing about Breccas, again, were Breccas had angular class. And they're comprised of rubble and conglomerates were comprised of gravel and a conglomerate has traveled a long way and has smooth glass all these are great i'm really excited to see if these get to be i'm gonna slice them and dice them and see what's inside them and i'm pretty excited about what's inside them right pretty excited we should totally be doing some gardening but like i don't know almost kind of given up I used to like really like gardening because it like fed my whole family but now what i planted a bunch of potatoes and trying to get outside to like clean them up but since when i started like 10 pepper plants they're just sitting in the greenhouse probably nothing probably nothing's ever happening but anyways like look at the look at the quartz that came out of there isn't it great look at this guy look at that tequila sunrise just gorgeous yeah so sorry i have not making any videos or like i did i made videos when we we're on a trip but if you heard me um my grandmother did pass away and there's been a lot of drama a lot of drama in my life so i haven't uh, it really affects my ability to retain information properly so we've been trying to make uh some resin we've just been trying to relax but i've like straight up straight up had a headache so these are all gorgeous rock though everything i brought home i could have filled my whole truck that's for sure i could have filled my whole truck no problem and they're so much different from the stuff that we have here like a lot of the stuff that i have here like, i didn't have quite this well sometimes i can find orangey pinks but like okay here's something you know here's stuff i pulled out of there the, the Cornell river and here's stuff that we usually find at home right see the difference see how like not smooth this stuff is and this is a green I got in, like, here's a green, and look at the edges on it. So, ow. Either of these came a long way, and some of them, I swear, have got agate inside them. Like, you can see the color, see the color change there. That's going to be, I'm going to be so excited to slice these open. So you're definitely going to have to stay tuned for a video where I slice these open. And, like... So there, somebody on the beach split that. And that was probably like the closest, but look, even the outside was smoothened, smoothened a lot more. Like here's, here's something local. And then like, look at our green, look at our epidote green. Like this is a piece of unikite from the real BC. But here's a piece of, I don't even know what this is. 
What? Daddy, Papa needs a bird scissor. I will. But here's some green from the Quinnell River, right? So we're also going to sell our winter tires for the truck. Um, I had to buy new tires. 500 bucks each for our tires. Isn't that nuts? 500 bucks each. And our blues are different than this too. Here's another. It's more like imperial green, right? More like imperial green. I like this. Crazy, right? We will look at the plants. I've got lots of columbine. We're going to make some art later and we're going to put some columbine in it. But I just can't. Aren't they all translucent, gorgeous rocks? We got to bike and meet Crystal in a minute here. Then. Well, I'm going to walk, I guess. This guy's going to bike. Kind of making me sick thinking about it. Yeah, and so we got a new kitty, so that's cool. Spuzz is what we called him. He looks like some sort of Siamese. My friend said like a Siamese something point. I don't know. He's got blue eyes. Isn't that awesome? The rock, I mean. The cat's pretty cool too, but. Yeah, see like here's something I found there. And here's something I found local. Like look at the difference, right? This definitely like just fell off the mountain. And this definitely tumbled in the... Maybe it's because, like, the depth of the river, too, right? The Quinell River, it looked pretty deep. Pretty deep. Like, standing on the edge of it a couple times, I was like, Oh, God, if I fall in here, and these pinks, I have no idea what these pinks are, but aren't they nice? This pale pink. We don't really have this pale pink. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, so... Um, and this was also another type of green. This here. Yeah, probably. It could be adventuring. I'll have to check that out. Like, these are all obviously like quartzes. Well-worn, translucent quartzes. But I'll have to look and see what the... Right? And not a lot of, like, not a lot of sedimentary lines. Like, this is probably one of the ugliest ones that I found. For sure. For sure. Or, I have some of these at home, but they don't look like this. Right? They're not as well smoothed. Smooth? Smoothed. Look at the the lemonade or the rust or whatever that is. Right? It's so bright. And ours is quite a lot fainter. Or we have those like sandstone things. The closest I could find. I did bring one of the sandstonies home, but look at it. I know I'm trying to rush through this because my back really hurts. My back hurts. And I've had a headache. And 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 I just complain about it. Just kidding. See, like, this could be a jadeite, couldn't it? But blue? I can't wait to cut these open. They're going to be great. So anyways, memberships are available. You want to join Mad Dog Mountain Arts? You might end up with one of these babies. If you want to buy one of my higher level memberships. There's some of the... Look at that color, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. This, I don't know. Call that a conglomerate. No, a breca, because it's like angular, angular class, right? Not round. I might, there might have been some conglomerates on the beach. I'm going to have to go back through my video and check it out. I got a ton of videos, so you'll see me upload a ton of video. I went to the Quinnell River quite a bit, just because it was like walking distance from my mom's house. And I had the availability for her to kind of watch Wolfgang. As like I said, the river was pretty deep. And I picked this up in my video and I said, I can't remember what I said about this, but 
it wasn't what I said in my video. I can't remember what this is now. It's Q, right? Oh, Q. No, this is almost a Brecca too, actually. That's why. I think in my video I got something else. So, yeah. Oh. Beauty. We like rocks. So join my channel if you like rocks. I definitely will be showing you a lot of rocks. A lot of mountain scenes. We're going to upload some Bull Canyon video. And we... Oh yeah, this guy. And we cut our rocks up and make magnets. If you guys want to check out my Etsy shop. There is some magnets in there. And uh, I'll also be using some of these in my resin. Um globes i also want to start making staffs like walking staffs and then put like a big rock on the end of it kind of thing right but the next time we do a cutting video we're going to be cutting these open to see if they've got any swirls on the inside look at that Ooh, it's cool i know i'm just rushing rushing it rushing through here because we're gonna go do something else oh and this okay so this actually had some like mica flakes on there you guys see that and quenelle does have gold in it like i should have taken a pan i guess and tried to pan some of the sand there but oh you guys my brain my brain we're gonna haul the tires out that's the next thing we're doing we're selling those tires what does hauling mean hauling that means that mummy climbs underneath the house and tries to pull the tires out and then we take a bunch of pictures of them and then we put them back underneath, and hopefully somebody wants to buy our tires. Isn't that nice? But Beauty. Tires? But not our truck tires. It's not the ones that are on the truck. The other pair, the winter pair that we never use. So, because we're in a small town, it's like, every time I get the tires switched, it just seems to, like, throw off. I don't know. I asked for them to get balanced, but it's just not worth it just paid like 100 bucks for a wheel alignment 150 bucks or whatever so i got mud and snows we're just going to keep the mud and snows on because toyota said it's better than just switching i was switching to my winters all the time trying to save on my other pair of tires but what's the point just use your mud and snows i'm not going to drive that much anyways i usually don't drive out over the mountain in the winter that's the rule if you want to not die don't drive around in the winter this is cool too right so anyways mad dog mountain arts we like rocks you like rocks maybe follow my channel and you can listen to me yak about rocks show you rocks from different places we might go somewhere this summer and we like to tour like eventually i would like to be able to i don't know tour i don't know i was talking to a friend of mine he's like i've got a few friends all over the place so maybe cold stream burn in next you know it's supposed to be some nice peridot over there there's some old mines in uh, west Kelowna too but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I get that gutsy to go over there and check that out. You know what I would like to find is that, like, Spanish hill that they're talking about in the Okanagan with the, the Spanish gold. Apparently somebody just found, like, a conquistador helmet this year in the beginning of the year from when the Spaniards came in, like, 1860 or something like that. And apparently they buried some gold over there. So okay, you guys made it. I showed you every rock that I brought home from the Cornell. Thanks for watching that. Please check out my memberships if you would like to. All right. Peace.